perform the indicated operation if possible. We have the quotient of 30 times negative 1 minus 2 and in the denominator negative 9 times the quantity 3 minus negative 2 minus 12 times negative 2. This long quotient bar we think of as a, a grouping symbol in itself separating the numerator and denominator. So we'll work on those two separately and then divide as a last step. Now in the numerator this negative 1 minus 2 you might think of that as negative 1 plus a negative 2 which gives negative 3. In the denominator let's start with this grouping symbol 3 minus a negative 2 becomes 3 plus 2 or 5. And we can also go ahead and perform this multiplication at the same step because we have things separated here by our minus sign. I'm going to think of this as negative 12 times a negative 2 or a positive 24. Back to the numerator, 30 times a negative 3 is a negative 90. And in the denominator, negative 9 times 5 is a negative 45. Lastly, let's combine those terms. In the denominator, negative 45 plus 24 is a negative 21. Now as we divide two negative numbers, that yields a positive result, 90 over 21. But let's also reduce this. 3 is a common factor of both. 3 goes into 90 30 times and into 21 7 times. So we can write this result as 30 sevenths. That's reduced form. We might also write it in mixed number form by dividing 7 into 30. 7 goes into 30 4 times with 2 left over. So an equivalent form is 4 and 2 sevenths.